Well, um, what I mean to work. Okay, so um, Hawkins talked about power versus force. So the idea of work is like, for example, my ego might say, if I don't work, I won't earn enough money and I'll die. That that's a, so I've got to work. And who's got to work? Well, the the ego identity, the uh, the belief that there's a me that needs to do work to get an outcome, to survive. Um, so what's happening there is if if I do work, if my ego does work, then it's draining, because I'm operating on the idea that the ego needs to do work, which is stressful, and it needs to achieve an outcome for survival, which is stressful. So there's no beingness of flow or allowing divine orchestration. It's like uh, fear and really trying to force things to get an outcome in the future for survival. So those kind of belief systems or, you know, I need to save somebody. Um, like I've got a relative who's ill and it's my job from the level of the ego to save them and rescue them. Uh, and uh, I'm the savior. I have the power to do that. And um, I'm going to, you know, either rescue them or put boundaries in to protect myself from the level of the ego. So if I'm doing it from the level of the ego, or from attachments or from fear, or from guilt, or all of those things, or from the idea that I have the power within my ego to rescue another person, then I'm going to feel very, very drained and exhausted all the time, because it is very draining. You know, like, uh, if I if I say to my ego, you've got to save this person, or you've got to protect yourself from this person, I'm going to be in a constant state of stress. And if I need to work, uh, from the level of the ego, then I'm also going to be in a constant state of stress. So um, Hawkins uh, gave this, uh, uh, you know, did describe kinesiology. If I'm in fear, resentment, anger, shame, guilt, or trying to control anything, my acupuncture meridian supplying, uh, you know, the heart meridian, uh, the brain, the muscles, all the meridians, they get blocked off. They no longer function. You know, that, that was known from thousands of years from Chinese medicine. So all negative emotions block the qi energy to different aspects of the body. So some people will, like I, the, the acupuncture meridian to do with fear goes through the kidney meridian. The Chinese have known that for thousands of years. So if I'm in fear all the time, uh, it'll stop the energy going to my kidneys. And I got kidney failure. Certain people will get heart attacks as they block the emotion or cancer. There's different emotions associated. Some people are bitter all the time. Some are jealous. Some are angry. Some are fearful. Some are guilty. And different illnesses are associated um, with the energy lines. So um, it can lead to, yeah, absolutely. And if the level of fear or guilt or shame or anger is intense for a long period of time, then yes, physical organs uh, start collapsing or parts of the body stop working. Uh, there's also karmic things from past life which will say which are the weaker points in the body that and which are the emotions which are more likely to get triggered because of the belief systems or the karma within the individual that need to be diluted or dissolved. So absolutely. So is there another way of doing it? And what would I do if I'm trying to save a person, if I'm trying to work for survival, and I'm trying to do all of this from the level of the ego, which would be creating a lot of fear, a lot of drain, a lot of the body will start to get depleted. You might get burnout and or more severe physical symptoms. Uh, you know, like I actually got went into kidney failure. So being in those negative emotions and negative beliefs and trying to control things from the level of the ego is very exhausting in my experience. Um, I thank God, you know, uh, miracles started to happen as I let go. I found very profound, you know, in the beingness or the oneness or allowing or in the observer or the witnesser, um, there is no ego trying to work and there is no ego. I did talk about this last week in the session. So if you keep going to the observer of the one who thinks they need to work, then eventually the observer is able to do things. And, all, and, and uh, you start with simple jobs, like 
can you be in the witness so or the silence, the beingness, and put a kettle on, and make a cup of tea without using your head? Once you're able to do that, then you are you able to speak in the beingness? Don't think about it. Just let the words come out of an emptiness. Um, uh, and then, uh, you know, uh, so as you start to develop, and then at work, can you go to the observer or be in the beingness or the emptiness and allow the beingness to do simple tasks at work without employing the head? So these states of flow or allowing the infinite to orchestrate things without using the head, that's when there's a state of infinite love and infinite healing. So the body now is not the, you know, the ego, which was actually just, you know, in fear and resentment and trying to work. Uh, that's very, very draining and can lead to very severe um, physical symptoms. Uh, but allowing flow, allowing the universe, allowing no thought or allowing the witnesser, it takes time because um, to disentangle all these beliefs. How do you disentangle them? Well, you can do the observer, practice beingness, or you can cancel or pray to let go of all the beliefs. Like I cancel my belief uh, that if I if I don't struggle to work, uh, I, I'll, I'll die because I won't have enough money. Or I cancel my belief I need to rescue this person uh, uh, and uh, uh, or or else I sh I'll feel guilty or responsible. Uh, my view on that is my ego can't rescue anyone. It's powerless to rescue anyone. Only if I let go and let God, uh, maybe a miracle could happen with others. And that has been my experience. Um, I've shared this story, which was very mystical and magical. Um, well, not the word magical. That doesn't fit. The word mystical, miraculous in terms of the course of miracles. So my mother once came back from the doctor as she went, said her legs were swelling. She had heart failure. And um, uh, she came back and she told me, look, the doctor said, your heart's in such a bad condition. There's no medicine we can give you. You just have to live with the swelling in your legs, the edema. Nothing, nothing we can do for you. Just go back home. And she said that. And I was, um, I was upset that they said that. So I, I did. God did not create edema in my mother. And within a few days, the leg had cleared up. And my mother intuited that I'd been doing some prayers for her and she sort of let, let me know, she was really showing me her legs that the miracle happened. So that's very much like Dr. Hugh Len, uh, where if others are ill, um, you don't try and fix them from the level of the ego, you just disappear your beliefs uh, and your attachments and, your, and, and you forgive them and yourself for everything. And then a whole prison of uh, violent ill mates got well and, and left the prison in, in in Hawaii. So that's the miraculous. So it's never from the, so what, what is the message there? Well, in cancelling beliefs, in uh, working on being in beingness and doing things from the level of flow or from the level of no thought, that's when maximum healing uh, occurs with oneself and in letting go of family from the level of the head. Um, so how can you do that? Practicing the observer, cancelling all ideas or, or forgiving all ideas in yourself or, um, and forgiving others and yourself. Uh, in terms of work um, and workalism, when you, those are a collection of beliefs. I, the ego, at the level of the ego, I need to work for survival. I need to get work to get validation or work is associated with my identity. There's so many belief systems <clears throat> that need to be identified and cancelled or um, uh, to let go of the idea of workers. Because work, work means the ego does work, but the beingness doesn't do work because it's in case, you know, it's the infinite. It's the presence. <clears throat> How, presence can't do work. You have to be in your head to have the, the idea that you need to do work. Uh, is it possible... My experience is the more I go into the beingness, into the observer, into the silence, uh, the more miraculous uh, my life has got and the more wealth I've got. It also paradoxically, anyway, that I'll talk about, maybe talk about that at another point. But it seems like trusting the infinite, the infinite always makes sure that financial needs are met in my experience. Um, so it's just the fears uh, from the ego which were blocking the provision. From, from the infant, from grace, from God. Okay. 